Hello guys, today, I will be talking about the latest happenings in the cryptocurrency world. Firstly, CoinGecko in their weekly livestream has aired a view on tokenizing gold on Bitcoin and new the US dollar to Euro stablecoins. I will also be answering some frequently asked questions in that aspect. Join me guys, as I go round the crypto world in the next few minutes. Welcome to our channel, where we talk about the latest the world of cryptocurrencies in general. If this is your first time watching one of our videos, we extend a special welcome to you, we invite you to hit the notification bell so you never miss another video. Now, let's dive in. Garrett Krauss discussed his ideas to tokenize gold on the BSV blockchain with presenter Kurt Wucker Jr. on the third season's 26th episode of CoinGeek weekly livestream. A special announcement on several new stablecoins scheduled to go live on the BSV blockchain was also included in the interview. Krauss describes himself as a successful businessman with experience in commodities trade, mining, and real estate development. He is familiar with securities rules thanks to his business activity, and he has raised money legitimately several times. He currently mines gold, exports it, and then ships it to Dubai, among other things. What's Krauss's background in digital currencies and blockchain? Although he likes to speculate on price changes, his attention is on how to create effective enterprises. Since experimenting with blockchains for five years, he attempted several ideas on Ethereum before coming to the conclusion that they wouldn't work since the platform can't scale or handle micropayments. What about Troygold and new the stablecoins on BSV? Well, Troygold, which is tokenizing gold on the BSV blockchain, was founded by Krauss. Wuckard queries him as to what distinguishes Troygold from other projects like Tether Gold. He responds that constructing Troygold on the BSV blockchain makes it spendable as money, in contrast to attempts established on Ethereum and other non-scalable blockchains. The technological prowess of the BSV blockchain, with its negligible fees and enormous transaction volume, is the only thing that makes this feasible. As a result, users have the option to use their tokenized gold to buy commonplace products. In order to make gold usable as money, Krauss emphasizes that stablecoins and methods of turning gold into cash will still be needed. He made it clear that he is developing everything for those who wish to utilize gold as money, and not for crypto people. Other cool features of the software include the ability to borrow money against your gold and potentially lend it out as well. The major information of the livestream is then revealed, Krauss and his colleagues will also introduce Troy stablecoins for USD and Euro. These will power Troy money and aid in onboarding new clients as well as provide a means for them to exchange gold for money. Now to the frequently asked questions. Please, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and also hit that notification bell to be the first person to get more updates about the latest happenings in the cryptocurrency world. As is natural with such exciting developments, the CoinGeek weekly livestream viewers had some questions. Here are the answers to a few of them. What are your thoughts on regulation regarding Bitcoin as a security? Krauss once assumed he couldn't build anything on Bitcoin. However, he dug in, found out about the BSV blockchain, and then watched as token after token was classified as a security by the SEC. However, Bitcoin is a commodity and will not be classified as a security, he says. What advantages do you see in combining the stability of gold with the technical capabilities of the BSV blockchain? Krauss notes that making gold money has always been difficult, there have always been issues related to measuring, storing, etc. The BSV blockchain makes it easier to use as money. It just works, and people using Troy money won't even know they are using a blockchain. Why gold? Why not other commodities? Will you tokenize other commodities in the future? They'll first roll out gold, silver, platinum, and palladium. In the future, it's possible that oil will also be tokenized in conjunction with some partners. As long as they are liquid commodities, they can be integrated into the blockchain, Krauss says. Who is providing the custodial service? The gold will be held at Brinks in Zurich or New York. Real-world assets still require trusted counterparties, Cross points out. As for liquidity, it will be provided by the StoneX Group. Can you delve into the technical details of how the gold backing is insured and verified on the BSV blockchain? What mechanisms are in place to maintain transparency and security? Cross points out that Brinks has never lost any gold. They are also insured by Lloyds, and the laws of the United States and Switzerland are some of the safest in the world as far as property rights go. Ultimately, there's no perfect system of trust, but we can get close to it, and working with companies that have such sterling reputations is the best way. Well, that's not all. CFTC has charged the residents of Florida, Louisiana, Arkansas for crypto fraud. 
The regulatory agency claims that by fabricating phony weekly returns, the defendants were able to lure over 14,000 people. The Commodity Futures Trading Commission, CFTC, has filed a lawsuit against several people and their company, funds, alleging that they participated in a misleading scheme involving trading in cryptocurrencies and precious metals. There are accusations of deceptive investment solicitations against Rene Lerald from Melbourne, Florida, Juan Pablo Valcars from West Melbourne, Florida, Brian Early from New Orleans, Louisiana, and Alicia and Kingray from Franklin, Arkansas, as well as their unincorporated firm funds. According to allegations, they lured investors in with unbelievable profits based on a fictitious, proprietary algorithm. In a lawsuit filed in the U.S. District Court for the Middle District of Florida, the CFTC claimed that the defendants lured clients by guaranteeing consistent weekly earnings of 3% from trading in cryptocurrencies and precious metals. They falsely claimed that funds was a successful business and that a $2,500 investment could increase to $1 million in just 48 months. The defendants further misrepresented funds' affiliation with charity groups in order to profit from the appeal of supporting deserving projects. The regulatory agency also claims that by fabricating phony weekly returns, the defendants lured more than 14,000 people. However, according to the CFTC, funds did not really trade customer funds. The entire business seems to have been founded on made-up gains and false claims. A unilateral statutory restraining order was issued by Judge Wendy Berger of the U.S. District Court, essentially freezing the defendant's assets and appointing a temporary receiver. The date of the preliminary injunction hearing is August 23. The CFTC works to promote fairness by seeking compensation for misled investors, recovering illegally acquired wealth, enforcing financial penalties, prohibiting trading and registration, and obtaining a permanent injunction against further violations. Previously, the CFTC disclosed that Judge Naomi Rice Buckwald of the U.S. District Court for the Southern District of New York had rendered a default judgment. Michael Ackerman, a resident of Alliance, Ohio, was subject to a permanent injunction following this decision. Now, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this in the comments section. Write us anything down here, we are very eager to read you, always remember that you are an important part of our community. With that we come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, give the video a like and don't forget to subscribe. This really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Also share this video to as many people as possible, let's get this news everywhere. If you are a true cryptocurrency fan, don't miss any of our content and don't forget to follow us on our new Instagram account at FactMcKemony. See you in a future opportunity to talk about the latest news that concerns us all as a community.